Hi everyone, it's Ruth from Viva Val Toro and I am back with another video with a new release from Teeks. So over the past year or so, Teeks has been coming out with some newer styles and they just released their first suede style. So I have it on hand and I want to show it to you today and then give you some care tips about how to keep them looking good for as long as possible. So without further ado, let me introduce you to Rouge. So these teaks are gonna come in the standard teaks box. I'm not gonna go through what's in the box. I've done that before in my teaks review and I will link that to you here so that you can look at what an experience is like opening a teaks box and what comes inside and what to expect. So these came with a standard flower um, that matches pretty much the color of the shoes. So, and here they are. So these are suede, suede leather. Um, Teeks is really known for their supple leather flats um, that, that are usually either uh, full grain or top grain leather or different um, prints. But in the past year, they're coming out with newer things and this is their very first suede. So let me try to show you that so you can see. Now, these are going to come right out of the box. They might be a little bit wrinkly, but once you unbox them and they tell you to brush them, it's gonna come with a little care card inside and it will show you, it will tell you basically to brush them with a soft bristle brush. I just have a standard soft bristle toothbrush and I just brush them right out of the box. Um, all of the wrinkles, there weren't that many really, they just loosened right up. So just give them a good brushing um, and it will kind of uh, soften up the nap. This is from calf leather. So the nap is really short, um, really soft. So you don't want to use too hard of a bristle brush, um, just something gentle, um, just to kind of soften it up a bit. So the next thing you're going to want to do is protect them before you start wearing them. Now, I have a whole post about how to polish and take care of your flats. Um, I'll link that in case you want to see what I do to take care of my flats. Um, Teeks are pretty low maintenance shoes altogether. If you scuff the classics, you can usually polish them. You can use um, a leather cleaner and condition them um, to kind of keep them uh, looking good for longer. But these are going to require some special care since they're suede. And you're going to want, want to avoid different sorts of like really rainy weather and stuff like that. But what you can do to protect them right out of the box is use a suede protectant. So what I used was this Scotchgard Nubuck and a suede and Nubuck protector. So I know that some people um, on Facebook in the Teeks Anonymous Facebook group were wondering if this was going to like change the shoe at all. And I didn't find any change at all. So what I did was I took them right out of the box and I shoved a piece of tissue paper in here just to protect the insole and then I sprayed them. So you did, I just did six inches, just follow the directions on the can, did a light spray, um, let it dry and then did another one. So this is actually two coats. I can take this off now. And you can see that there's really not a whole difference between the two, um, the two shoes. Like the, I didn't do this one yet. So um, you can see this one's been done, no big change. It went right back to color. In fact, the first time I sprayed it, I forgot to put the piece of tissue paper in there and I sprayed the insole and you can see that it went right back to its regular color. So um, if you get a little bit of the scotch guard on the insole, don't worry, it will go back to normal um, and not a big deal. So another reason you're gonna wanna scotch guard these is because these have been double dyed to get maximum color saturation, to get this rich, deep color, um, they double dyed these. So that means that there could be color transfer. Um, if you rub it up against, like if you were say maybe you're wearing like white jeans in these shoes and you rub the shoe onto the jeans, you could get some color transfer. So hopefully the Scotch Guard will protect that from happening. Um, but just, just be aware of that and be careful. And also be careful not to like step in puddles and get them uh, extremely wet if you can, because that's just the nature of suede. So you're not gonna wanna get them um, like saturated. I know in some of my classics, I've gotten them completely soaked. I've gone out and it's just rained. It's, I live in Florida and it's rained out of nowhere and they've gotten completely saturated, like almost like if you were to throw them in a swimming pool and they dried out just fine and they went right back to normal. But I'm not sure how suede would tolerate that even with uh, the protectant. 
So you can see that these are beautiful. Another thing that you're going to want to have on hand with these is a um, suede sponge. So I wore these for um, a photo shoot the other day and um, it's gonna be for a blog post and I'll link that here so that you can see the full post on how I style these because I have all different outfits and can kind of just give you some styling tips in case you're wondering what you might wanna wear these with. So I wore these for a shoot and definitely stepped in grass and a little bit of mud and a little bit of water and they got a little dirty. So um, I was concerned about how I was gonna get rid of the marks. So I'm gonna show you that this one, I didn't do anything to. So can you see that there is, there are some marks on the heel. They're just like dirt marks um, and not my favorite. So. I got this sponge. I got it on Amazon. And I'm gonna link, I'm gonna link you to my blog post that is gonna have the link to this sponge and the Scotch Guard so that you can easily just grab them um, if you want to. So this is what the sponge looks like inside, and the directions on the sponge are just to use the broad side of the sponge to wipe away any dirt, soil, any scuff marks or anything like that. And I was shocked at how well this thing worked. So I'm gonna do that to this now so that you can see just exactly. You just, I'm basically just like kind of brushing it, um, not like super aggressively, but just enough to get the marks off. Um, it works wonders. I was surprised. Both of the shoes had um, some kind of yucky marks. So, and it worked fantastically to get them off. So, and here is afterwards. Let me hide my face so that it will focus on the shoe. And hopefully you can see that the marks are gone. The dirt marks are gone. And there's really no color change. Just pretty shoe. So you're gonna wanna get one of these sponges if you have these shoes, um, just for general care. So, um, a lot of people are gonna ask, I have a long, long blog post about uh, all the different teaks um, I have about, I think, a little over 70 pairs. So I have a post where I show all side-by-side -side photos of all of the pairs. So I'm going to do that here with these um, just so that you have it for reference. Um, so let me show you. So this is Rouge, the suede style. I'm going to show it next to Cardinal Red. So this is a full grain classic next to the suede. Very similar color, rouge is a little bit deeper. Here's another classic, this is burgundy. So burgundy next to rouge. Okay. Um, I'm gonna show it next to ruby red. This is a patent leather next to rouge. So very similar tones here, but again, one suede, one patent leather, completely different look. I'm going to show next to Red Diamond. This was a special release for Black Friday a few years ago. Um, it's not on the website now. You won't be able to find it. But in case you do have Red Diamond and you're wondering if you should get Rouge, here they are side by side. I'm going to show it next to Fuchsia in case anybody wants to see that. Um, if you have one in the pink family, not really super close, but just in case anybody wants to see that. And I'll also show it next to Razzleberry, since that is kind of in the same pinkish, reddish color family. So I think that those are the main ones that people are going to want to see. So hopefully this was helpful to you. Um, I'd love to know what you think about these. I've worn them a few times, worn them pretty in-depth for that photo shoot I did the other day, and I've worn them one other time. They are super, super comfortable right out of the box. Probably one of my most comfortable pairs right out of the box. They are true to size for me. I got, I wear a nine in all my teeks. I'm a true eight and a half, um, sometimes like a nine in tennis shoes. Uh, these, all of my teeks are nine except a few of the um, vegan styles where I had to size up because they don't stretch. Um, these are um, true to size for me. So I'm keeping the nine, they fit perfectly. And um, I think they're, they're gorgeous and I can't wait to wear them this holiday season. So let me know what you think and um, drop me a comment and I will try to get back to you. Thanks.